This is our last video. This is going to be the one we're going to be facing what is for a lot of people the absolute worst. Okay, we can have a short, we can have a short with a fuse and what happens is the fuse blows. So we're protected from the damage. We can have a parasitic draw, which is a low level short, which will suck the juice out of the battery. But again, it doesn't cause any damage. If we have a short, a dead short in a line that does not have a fuse, things burn. We've all seen it. You open the hood of the car and there's a harness laying there and it's all melted and black. The colors of the vinyl have run together. It stinks. It's destroyed. If we were to go right now and try to repair all those wires, the short would still be somewhere. If that were to happen, it'd be a waste of time. We need to be able to find out exactly where is that short and fix it. Or this is just an exercise. And it's really easy to do. To understand how to do it, I want you to imagine for a minute, it's early winter. We had a light dusting of snow last night, perhaps the lightest in the first of the season. Okay, and it's early, you've just gotten up, the sun's about ready to come up, you've got your cup of coffee and you're outside in the backyard just enjoying the, the calm air and the tranquility. And you look down and you see, look, there's bird tracks. You say, well the birds aren't running around in the dark, and this snow just arrived last night, so this isn't from yesterday, and it's not quite dawn. He must have been here just a couple of minutes ago. He might still be here. And we go looking for him. And we follow the bird tracks through the snow, around and around and around and around. He doubles back on himself. He comes over here and suddenly right there, the bird tracks disappear. If somebody were to say, where was the bird when he flew away? It's a no-brainer. Right there. Are you sure? Absolutely. How do you know? Because there's no more tracks. This is where he stopped. This is where he flew away. There's no more of it. When we're talking about a burn, a cable that burns, it's power from a source, current, un, unfettered in any way, there's no resistance, and it runs straight to a short, a place where she meets ground. The electricity and all the heat that's associated with it will not go one inch past that spot. So you go to where the beginning is, where the, where the source of the current is, okay, where she got it from the battery, and follow the wire, follow the burn, follow the burn, follow the burn, and when the burn stops, the short is right there. It always works. It's that easy to do. Now, sometimes we can get caught. We can get tricked a little bit. A few weeks ago, one of our customers sent, called me up and he said, listen, I bought one of your headlight switches and it shorted internally. I said, well, I'm sorry. And he says, I'll send you a picture. And he did. He sent me a nice picture. And I could see the, the, the cable that brought the power to the switch was just burned and melted, absolutely destroyed. But on the other side of the switch, the cable that went to the lights was just as burned and just as destroyed. Let's go back to the early morning. We're out there, we see the bird tracks, and we follow the bird tracks along, and there's a little bush in the backyard, and we think, maybe he's in the bush. And we take a look around the other side of the bush, and when we do, we see there's the tracks. If the tracks pick up on the other side of the bush, he passed through the bush, he might have sat in the bush for a second, but he's not there now. He can't be, because the tracks pick up again and keep going. It's the same thing as soon as I saw the picture of the switch with the, f the lead coming into it all burned to death and the lead going out also burned to death. The switch was involved. The switch was in the way. The switch is probably damaged from what happened. The switch is not the short. It will be a mistake to think that's the short. We have to keep following the burnt wires until we get to the end. Then you'll find the short. And then you can deal with the problem. So in review, we've learned earlier that an open circuit is where the contact, the circle, is no longer available because something is separated. And when that happens, something doesn't work. We talked about an open circuit that was caused by resistance. You can have the wires connected to each other, but if they're full of corrosion, electricity can't get across, and it mimics an open circuit. We said that an unauthorized contact with ground, with no resistance, is a dead short, and it causes problems. It burns wires or it blows a fuse. We talked about a parasitic draw, which is a kind of a short, but with resistance built in, and she slowly pulls the current out of the battery. Okay? And we talked about if we're trying to chase down a short, we can put our own source of parasitic draw in, a form of resistance, to keep the system from getting damaged while we look for it. And we followed out in the last part right here, you can always follow the wire to the end, and wherever those, where the damage stops, that's the short. Thank you.